and welcome to Cascais in Portugal. It's the first day of the Rolex TP52 World Championship Cascais 2022. Forecast is for 9 to 16 knots of breeze. Sled go on the water as champions. Quantum have won here twice before and uh, there's a number of boats which could win. It's going to be a great week finishing with strong breezes but it could be light to start with. It doesn't really affect us at all. I mean, you come here expecting breeze and, and so you have to change that mentality. It's beautiful sailing conditions. We are prepared for every condition. We are not under pressure. The other guys are under pressure because we won two in four years. So we take it super easy and having fun on the water. It's the start of a long event. You'd probably put the favourites as Quantum and Platoon and then maybe us and Sled as good chances also. So um, probably the underdogs slightly. I haven't been in that role too much lately, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. So race one, the breeze is eight to nine knots on the start line. It looks like the early right is good. We see Provetza and Gladiator out there in particular with an early lead, but it's the top third of the beat where the left comes in strong. Allegra, Vayu and Quantum all on that side. Round the top mark, it's Allegra, Vayu, Quantum. Down the first round, that stays the order. Then on the second beat, Quantum Racing get through Vayu and at the finish line, it's Allegra winning the first race of the World Championships, Quantum Racing in second and Vayu in third. Just a little bit more breeze for the start of the second race, maybe 10 knots, uh, still flat, flat water and a good start from Quantum Racing. Phoenix are over the start line and have to restart, recross, but at the top mark it's Quantum making good from that uh, lead off the start line. They lead round the top mark with Sled in second and Platoon in third, but down the first run, Quantum Racing jibe off early, Sled stay right down the run and lead round through the leeward gate and all the way to the finish, it's a win for Sled. Quantum Racing gets second, Platoon third. We were right in the mix, and of course, with a penalty in this strong feet, it's difficult just to fight back. But we didn't let us go, and we were full of energy, and so we raced nicely in the second race. So we're, we're happy. Luckily, uh, we managed to uh, survive the day and had two, two second places, which is a pretty good start. We came out there with the goal of getting to the last day with a chance to win, and we accomplished that today. So the standings after three races, Quantum Racing lead the World Championships on four points, Platoon in second on eight, Phoenix also on eight and Sled on nine. That's it for the first day in Cascais at the Rolex T50 World Championship. Quantum come away with the lead, two good second places, very close behind them, but it's going to be a long week and it's only going to get windier.